Hola! Today we're going to look at some things that are near and dear to the middle schooler's heart. Eating and drinking. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to say three different things that you drink, four different things that you eat, and you could also talk about the subject pronouns. Let's start with the subject pronouns. First person singular is I. That's in English and in Spanish. But in Spanish we say, yo, repitan, yo. To say you in Spanish, we say tú. Notice how with yo, it looks like somebody who's wearing a red shirt is pointing at himself. And then tú means that you're pointing away. You've got the finger that's pointing away. If you want to talk about a male, he, you're going to say él. Él is third person singular. That's a pronoun. A pronoun stands in the place of the noun. So this guy's name is really Alan, but we're going to call him he for right now. And then we have Lydia, who is ella. Repitan. Yo. Tú. Él. Ella. So we have first, second, third person singular, and we'll work on plurals later, but for right now, let's just keep with these. Now we're going to look at some different verbs. We're going to start with the word to eat. We're going to use a picture with a fork coming toward a mouth to show you that it means to eat. Comer is the verb to eat. Repitan, comer. Okay, now the blue form, the yo form, first person singular form for comer is como. So we're going to switch out, instead of putting yo right here, we're going to switch out and put como instead. Now you can say yo como. But como also means I eat. Then we're going to put the word for you eat. And it's also green. I'm going to go ahead and leave tú up there. Tú comes. Repitan. Tú comes. Muy bien. Tú comes means you eat. And notice that they are green. Now we're going to use the el, ella form. He or she. In this case, we're going to say, he eats. Él come. Repita, él come. That means, he eats. If you want to say, she eats, we would simply take away él and exchange it for ella. Ella come. She eats. And notice that also goes together. The thing is, the reason why these are color-coded is because, in Spanish, you don't have the same type of verb conjugations as you do in English. In English, we would say, I eat, you eat, he, she, or it eats. We stick an S on the end of it in the third person singular. You didn't know that you were going to be learning how to speak English in Spanish class, did you? So now we have the verb comer, to eat. So let's look at some things that we can eat. Here we have four things to eat. Cheese, bread, cake, and ice cream. Primero vamos a practicar la pronunciación. First, we're going to practice the pronunciation. The word for cheese is queso in español. Queso se dice queso. Repitan, queso. También en español nosotros decimos pan. Instead of saying bread, in Spanish we say pan. Repitan, pan. It's not pan. It looks like pan, but it's pronounced Bun. Okay, this one is cake. There are several different words in Spanish. Nosotros tenemos la palabra pastel. Repitan, pastel. Pero también hay la palabra cake y también torta. It just depends on which country. There are different words that are used. And then we have the word helado. Repitan, helado. Okay, now, let's take the things that we've learned so far and put them in sentences. ¿Cómo se dice esta frase en español? How do you say this sentence in Spanish? 
Ok, primero empezamos con la palabra yo. So we're going to start with yo. You notice it's the person pointing to himself or herself. Now, the yo form of comer is como. And then the word for bread that you just learned is pan. Yo como pan. Repitan, yo como pan. Yo como pan. I take this away, we still have yo como, but then if I add this word, queso. Yo como queso. I eat cheese. Now, I'm going to give you another word. And this word can be used and made useful when you want to add things to stretch your sentences a little bit. Yo como queso. Pero también se puede usar la palabra I. The word I is spelled like the letter Y in English. But it means and. Yo como But what happens if I put What happens if I put these words together in a sentence? Yo como pan y queso. Okay? Ahora nosotros vamos a usar la palabra tú. ¿Cómo se dice esta frase en español? Con la palabra tú Tú. And what's the form that goes with tú? Comes pan y queso. Tú comes pan y queso. What if you're going to a party? Una fiesta. En español se dice fiesta. En una fiesta hay pastel, ¿no? Y también hay helado. Qué delicioso, ¿no? Okay, very delicious food at a party, right? Not necessarily good for you, but it's delicious. Tenemos aquí la frase, tú comes pastel y helado. Muy bien, tú comes pastel y helado. Okay, I think we have the idea here. So let's try putting in the third person singular, he or él. Él come Pastel y helado. Muy bien. Él come pastel y helado. Y también se puede decir... Él come pan y queso. What if we wanted to say that she is eating these things? We'll put the word for she there. Ella come pan y queso. Now that you have the idea, we're going to use these same subject pronouns, but instead of using the verb comer, we're going to use the verb beber. And instead of using food, we're going to use drink. The word for to drink in Spanish is beber. But if we're going to use the yo form, we're going to have to change that beber to bebo. Yo bebo. Repitan, yo Bebo. La forma tú se dice bebes. You drink means bebes en español. Se dice bebes. Repitan, tú bebes. Okay. Then we have ella and él. That's third person singular. And for that one, if it's a girl, we're going to say ella bebe. If it's a boy, we'll say él bebe. Repitan, ella bebe. Él bebe. Okay, now let's start using these subject pronouns to put together sentences. Here we have three different items that you can drink. Vamos a empezar con agua. Agua is water. Most of you already know that word, agua. And then we have milk and we have a soft drink or a soda. We're going to say leche for milk. Leche. 
and for a soda you can say soda or you can say un refresco. Refresco is more like a soft drink. Repitan, agua, leche, refresco. Now, we're going to be able to put some sentences together using these words. Ahora tenemos la palabra ella, la palabra beber. You could also use the word tomar. I've also heard tomar for to drink, but for our purposes for this lesson, let's just, let's just say beber. And then we have the word agua. So, ella, bebe, agua. Repitan, ella bebe agua. Okay, well what if we put another person there instead of ella? What if I want to say, you are drinking water? Is this going to be correct? Now, when we put a subject and a verb together, I have those color coded so that they match. But you notice this is green and this is purple. So we're going to have to fix that. Bebes agua. Tú bebes agua. Now let's see what happens if I let you do one using the word he. Él bebe agua. Muy bien. What if I switch it up and use the yo form? Yo bebo agua. Muy bien. Yo bebo un refresco, una soda. Either one of those is correct. Ooh, what if we wanted to say we eat and drink something? So let's say that I was really hungry and really thirsty. So I would say, yo como pan. And remember the word for and? E. What are we going to say here? We're going to use the same subject pronoun, yo. So we're going to say, bebo. Yo como pan y bebo un refresco o una soda. Okay, what if we wanted to say that he is eating cheese. That's kind of a weird thing to eat by itself, but... Let's just go ahead and say he really needs his dairy, so. Él come queso y bebe leche. Okay, now let's say that somebody's really, really extra thirsty. Okay, so here we have el bebe leche y agua. So this word e and is very useful because you can put a compound sentence together. We have compound sentences in English. And you can also use it to put different types of items to eat and drink together.